Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to a new online video series and a teaching series put together by your crew down here in the greater New Orleans area. Uh, I'm Dr. Joe Willis and this course will be presented by myself, Anna Timmerman, Chris Dunaway, and a whole slew of experts from the LSU Ag Center. And we call this series the Backyard Orchard. And what we're going to do is go through the different types of fruits and nuts that you might be wanting to grow in your backyard here in Louisiana. Uh, this is basically the manual for the course in that uh, this publication is available from the LSU Ag Center and in it, it goes through the different fruits and nuts that you might grow in Louisiana and snippets of information about what they are, how to grow them, and along those lines. But what we're going to do is go through these in more detail. Uh, one thing that's important uh, to know about Louisiana is that we have multiple hardiness, plant hardiness zones. And so some of these fruits and veggies will do really well up in northern Louisiana, but not so well down in southern Louisiana, and vice versa. There will be some that we can grow down here, some that you don't even want to try up here. So you can see that we go all the way from zone 8A to 10A in Louisiana. Another important uh, factor to realize is chill hours. Now there are some fruits that require a certain number of chill hours before they will flower and produce fruit. And chill hours are temperatures below 45 degrees. So those accumulate during the cold part of the year and when the plant realizes it has enough, then it knows that when it warms up it will flower. And on average um, the top third of Louisiana gets between 750 and 1000 chill hours uh, the middle section of Louisiana gets between 500 and 750 chill hours. <clears throat> and the southern portion, uh, going from up here, maybe gets close to 500 hours. Down here, you're going to be closer to 150 hours, but it gets between 150 and 500 chill hours, depending on which area uh, of the state you're living in. And that will be real important, as you'll see later on in, when we're discussing some of the fruits that might be grown in Louisiana. And as we go through these, the manual that I showed you divides the fruits and nuts up into different categories. Now that has changed over the years with some of these, but roughly this is uh, how you will view them. There are fruits and nuts that are commonly grown in Louisiana, and you can see you go all the way from the berries like blackberries, uh, muscadine grapes, uh, pecans of course, strawberries which can grow all over the state, uh, figs which you can grow all over the state, Citrus, commonly grown in Louisiana, but only in the southern part of the state. And so these are fruits and nuts that are commonly grown in Louisiana that we'll be covering. And then there are the fruits and nuts that are occasionally grown in Louisiana. And like I said, some of this has been changing over the years. Um, apples, they're grown in the northern part, uh, and those up there might be more common. But overall, these are only occasionally grown in Louisiana. Blueberries, they've gotten a, a wider uh, growth area, and so we'll be covering blueberries, uh, bunch grapes as opposed to muscadine grapes are, are a little trickier in Louisiana. And so these are ones that we'll be covering that are sometimes grown in Louisiana. And then there are the different fruits and nuts that are dual purpose. They're grown not only because they produce something that's edible, but because they look pretty good growing in your landscape. And that would be ones like uh, the banana, uh, pomegranate, beautiful flowers on pomegranate, and the fruit of course is great, but you can grow this one just for the flowers and ornamental value alone. And then of course things like the passion fruit or passion vine, a lot of people grow that one because the butterflies uh, love the passion fruit. This is the host plant for the Gulf fritillary, and so a lot of people grow uh, the passion fruit just to feed the butterflies. And uh, all of these are, have various different ornamental value in addition to being good fruits that you can grow and enjoy. And then there are the fruits and nuts that are rarely grown in Louisiana. And these are ones that uh, over the years some people try in certain areas, they do do well. And like I said, since that manual was published, some of these have changed, like olive. You see a lot more olives grown in Louisiana. Uh, as ornamental plants and there's even been uh, research going on in growing olives as a commercial crop in Louisiana. So this one is 
uh, not just rarely grown, it's more commonly grown now. Avocado with the development of cold hardy varieties. Uh, these are becoming more common in a lot of the areas of Louisiana. Uh, apricots, not so much. Uh, and uh, there's even different varieties of cherries that have been developed that may be grown. So, uh, but these are some that we'll cover as well. So I hope you guys will enjoy uh, the courses that we have for this as we launch into uh, this series on the backyard orchard. And as always, you know, the LSU Ag Center, the agents and the professionals are always available to you because we're out there to help you make your gardening endeavors more fruitful.